Hey guys, it's KK. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do something inspired by Miss Jackie Naturals, but I'm not going to go as hard as her. I'm going to do my fall beauty health and wellness empties. These are the things that I went through during the fall, and I'll just see if you know what my reviews on them very really quickly or if I'm going to rebuy them. So, and where I got them. So, shout out to Miss Jackie Naturals for the idea on this video. Today I'm just wearing my uh I think it's called Crap, I don't even have it. But anyway, I'm wearing just mascara and my first empty today, which will be my Cab Lip Oil. I've never heard of this brand. It's something that came inside my BoxyCharm. Uh, you see that I'm at the end of it, so I've just been keeping it in my work bag. Um, and, you know, it's all right. It's a lip oil. Nice and shiny. Not too sticky, but a little sticky. So I went through it for the most part. I'm, I'm probably be in, uh, throwing out this week, so this is my first empty. All right, secondly, let's go into some skin products. So I went through this whole system. It took me a long time. It is the Urban Skin Body System. So I have the soap, the skin clear skin clarifying uh, back and body spray, and the even tone treatment body. As you can see, they're all empty. Um, I don't think I'll rebuy it because the entire system is $99. Um, this was a thick black soap that really left my uh, tub really dirty sometimes and it would be hard to clean. Um, I don't necessarily have back acne or any type of acne. I was really just looking for clarity, keeping my uh, skin youthful and young all, all around. So personally, I'm not going to buy this again. I am going to go to uh, Good Molecules. They have a soap kind of just like this with the similar ingredients like charcoal, kojic acid, sulfur. So, you know, if you have body acne, maybe this is something that would work better for you or something that would be more worth it for you. Even the lotion was really dark too. Um, and and it, it, it can make a scent, it can make like stains and stuff as well. Um, but it is 12% glycolic acid, kojic acid, and retinol. So it worked really well. But for $99, I don't think I'm gonna be rebuying it. So Urban Skin, the body treatment, I have tried it. This is my second time going through this. I think second or third. But I, I don't think I'll be buying it again. I'll just use uh, good molecules. Um, let's see, right here. Hmm. Let's do a few hair products, I guess. I have went through my Curlsmith. And this is the second time I've ha bought this. I usually buy it when it's on sale at Ulta because it is pretty pricey. I think it's like $30. But it is the Curl Conditioning Oil and Cream. It's one of my favorites. Um, you see I went through it really well. Um, secondly, I got this cream of nature, aloe, and black castor oil overnight treatment. I would basically put my hair in like what I call plaits or braids and um, really moisturize it over the night. I'm really trying to think, think about my hair. I've been um, doing protein treatments every two weeks. I've been wearing wigs to work. Um, I just finished washing and, de and um, conditioning it, deep conditioning it today which comes to my next product my next empty my next few empties I just finished washing and deep conditioning it and I use this I don't know how you say it owl I received this as a uh, sample um, with a with a Ulta purchase so this was their thick hair treatment and I actually got two treatments out of this um, sample size and I also mixed the deep conditioning with their hair oil that I got as a treatment so I got two treatments out of this um, sample size that, they, that I got sent so um, yeah this was this is the finishing result what I've been trying to do is deep con washing deep condition my hair every week and protein treat every two weeks because my hair has just been breaking all the time um, and it's been doing that before I did the color so really really since I've been in Las Vegas my hair has really not grown so I really want to do what I can to try and get it to grow out so yeah I use that today and we'll see the end results. All right, so let's get back to, let's finish up on hair. Okay, so one of these products. So what I do is I've been making my own lotion. I bought some pure shea butter and I've been using my own oil. So I ran out of, I used a batch. Um, I made a batch, a really nice batch. I did really good this time. I'm really proud of myself. So I ended up using the it last of my Shea Moisture Pumpkin Seed Oil. 
and the last of my ordinary rose hip seed oil inside the batch of um, lotion mix whatever you want to call it so yeah it's really good I really loved it I think I did a really good job so I'm really proud of myself um, just to take it off before I go straight to like just skin empties I do have a few health and wellness empties I do like to take vitamins and whatnot um, so I'm done with my probiotics I hope you guys are taking probiotics and I'm done with my collagen I need to get some more collagen ASAP I actually might need to stop by CVS and I know that you know CVS there's better brands of co collagen out there but I just got to get what I can get because I can feel a huge difference when I don't supplement with collagen I also am out of my energizing vitamins as well um, but you know I, it didn't make it in the bag so no problem so the last items I have are, oh, another wellness item is my lavender essential oil. I use this to sleep with. Um, this came in a, a, a set of like rose, of like flower sets. So it had like lavender, a chamomile, a rose, a lang lang, um, different types of um, flower essential oils. So this helps me sleep at night. So it's not just, you know, products about beauty but but wealth health and wellness I've been trying to hold on to as well so the last products it looks like they're all about skin so let's get into it I have the Clara's hyaluric acid serum that I got from a boxy charm it was pretty good I'm probably never gonna buy it again but since I had it I went ahead and used it nothing I would buy um, let's see then I have the Ordinary Retinol. This was, I think this was their high one. No, this is the one that's in Squalene. So if I would buy this again, I would probably mix it into one of my um, shea butter mixes, like I said, because it was a little greasy. I wouldn't put it on my face. Um, but I do like the Ordinary's Retinols. I've tried all three of them. I think I accidentally threw one away that I went through. But, you know, I'm getting older, so I like Retinol. So stay, staying on to this. This is, I know it's a little messed up, but the Estee Lauder overnight you know advanced serum this was a really good sample this lasted me a long time so whenever they have samples they're really good with Estee Lauder then I have the glow recipe banana souffle moisture cream it was nothing that I would buy but I had it in a boxy charm so I went ahead and used it as my day moisturizer and it was really light really good you know I, I like glow recipe actually so maybe I would buy it again this is something that I've had, but I went ahead and decided to use. This is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. Um, I have another one. I went through this one. I just use it for just added hydration. You know, whenever I'm getting ready to leave or in between treatments, you know, I'll, I'll spray that on. Okay, and then I have Urban Skin, which is one of my favorite brands, as y'all can see. I have their Derm Shield Oil Control Mattifying Moisturizer. This was their 30 SPF. Um, I think they they don't have this formula anymore. It was really dry. It would leave a white tint I would have to mix it with oil to even get it pat it down um, So yeah, I mean I used it because you, you know, I need thing But I, I replaced it with their new formula and maybe I'll have a review on it soon. So we'll see Yeah, but I don't even think they have this for sale anymore Okay, then on to our last three products. I have the from urban skin even tone overnight treatment. This has 2% hydroquinone, um, fades dark marks, sunspots, even tones, even skin tones reduces appearance of skin. It was a really good formula. Unfortunately, it's like $50, $60. So I don't think I will be rebuying it unless it comes in like a subscription box, which I think this one did. Um, okay, last product from Urban Skin is their hydrating lip, treated, lip treatment which is a really good lip treatment. It has avocado oil, collagen, and peptides in it. Really good, I used it like down to nothing. You know, if I can, I might get another piece out of it, but it was really good. If you are in interested in a really good lip product, it's actually on sale on their website. It's one of their cart offers. I think it's like $12, normally it's like 18. So it's a really good lip treatment. <laughs> and speaking on lips, this is my last product that I'm going to have. This was the Wet n Wild Pac-Man Collection Lip Scrub. Um, so it was really cute. I actually might even keep this and like put like um, something else in it because this is so adorable. It was the, you know, the little cherry from the Pac-Man game. And I had the, the lip, um, it was like a lip balm 
in the cherry but you know I lost it you know so I might hold on to this actually this packaging is too cute and I might um, refill it with something else so yeah that is my fall empties things that I've used and I'm gonna stay on this trend try to use as much as I can before I start replacing things when I do replace it I'll probably replace it with either something very high-end that I know that works or good molecules quite frankly just to keep staying within a budget so let me know what you think what have, have you tried any of these products um, you know what have, what have you what have you been using for your body what kind of vitamins what kind of collagen you do you use I need a new collagen to go inside my tea at work so thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it thanks